More Minnesotans are seeking credit counseling amid soaring debt. There are legitimate debt relief or settlement companies that can help, but some can be scams. Derek James explains how to spot them and what's being done to protect your money. This week, Minnesota Attorney General Keith Ellison shut down two debt settlement companies that illegally collected fees from customers and misrepresented their services. His office also got the companies, Financial Solutions Group, and Accelerated Debt Settlement to provide full refunds to its Minnesota clients, totaling over $1 million. They were telling me that um, they were going to be making the payments and that it was normal that the credit cards, they will call me that they will have it, everything in control, but it wasn't true. Jimena Mazir turned to a different debt settlement company two years ago after experiencing unexpected expenses to help her family in Honduras. My mother has a farm over there, so someone put it on fire, so I started helping my mother and getting out uh, money from the credit card to help her and send it over there. Instead of paying, settling, or getting rid of her debts, they just took her money. They're really interested in one thing, and that's making the sale. Thomas Nitsche is with Money Management International, the largest nonprofit credit counseling organization in the nation. Bad things happen because the consumer doesn't understand what's happening. Um, and so then they are surprised when their creditors go unpaid and their credit ends up damaged. When what they thought they were doing was a debt management program offered by a nonprofit like ours. Nitsche says there are several warning signs of a debt settlement scam. First, substantial upfront fees. Beware of any company promising specific results or one that does not provide clear information on how they plan to help you or what their services entail. You have to take the time to become an expert of your own situation um, and not just be convinced by ads that often sound too good to be true because they are. Mazir was lucky. She fought for two months to get her money, about $3,000 back. Well, that doesn't happen for everyone. I was calling them like every single day. And now she's working with MMI and she knows exactly where her money is going. I'm planning like to pay my debt like in two more years. Attorney General Ellison encourages anyone who has been the victim of fraud by a debt settlement company to file a complaint with his office. And a big, big key here, Jeff and Aaron, is that if you are still current with your debt, you want to stay that way, obviously, so that you don't hurt your credit score long term. So whatever program you decide to get into, you need to be really clear with them. Are my payments going to be made to my creditors each and every month? And can you walk us through the difference between debt settlement and debt consolidation? So debt settlement is really something that you should only use in dire situation. You're 90 or 120 days delinquent. You're getting calls from creditors. That's that moment where you you want to get into a settlement where maybe you can get the overall amount lowered just so that those creditors get some money. When we're talking about the other option, you're really looking at taking all of the debts that you currently have, combining them as one, and getting a lower payback. What they do is they freeze those credit cards and then you work to pay on them without the interest becoming as as high as it. As kind of it just like is. one payment yes, too, one so it's payment. less to keep track of. Exactly. Okay. okay. Thank you for the info, Derek. Yep.